Kadefrica Poof. Hey guys, this is Addy, Crafty, Josie, and today I'm making an ancient incense cook. You will need a tin tray, mine's just a takeaway tray, some tin foil, cardboard, glue, scissors, and to decorate it, some sharpies or mark. Now, the actual clock part, you will need some incense. Some bells or something that makes a noise. Some thread. And last but not least, matches. Matches, matches never touch. They can hurt you very much. You need an adult to help you with that part. So let's go, 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 go. Guess what? The incense clock is a dragon. Like this. Uh, 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 uh. <coughs> yeah. Anyway, this tray is the body, so now I'm going to make the head and the tail. So I've already done this tail. You could just print out a template from the internet, but I'm going to do a cardboard covered tin foil. No, tin foil covered cardboard <laughs> and decorate it. Now, I stole me papa's light. So, if you have a dragon figurine or toy, you can shine a light. There will be a shadow. You can see my finger. You draw a line around the shadow, and then you cut out along that line. But my little cute stormfly is too small. So we're going to have to use something else. I'm going to use this dragon ball that my great grandparents brought back from Norway. That's so far away. My mum could add my beautiful creation. Now, let's start sticking. Let's have this noisy stuff. Incense pots were used in China and other parts of Asia to measure certain amounts of time. I like putting some glue over it so it stays. We either use incense sticks or incense powder. I am going to use incense. Sticks. Instead of doing the collage theme bob, you can just put the cardboard onto the roll and draw around it like so. But I don't want to do that. I want to keep with the collage paper mache theme bob because it gives more of a textured look, textured feel. I finished sticking now. Let's decorate. Before you decorate, you might want to make sure all the foil is well stuck because otherwise it makes it quite hard to cut. Let's take some dark blue. My, my favourite thing about art is probably there's no limit. There's nothing you can't do when it comes to art. Go to my Instagram account at artycraftyjuicy and tell me what your favourite part about art is. Like I said, mine is there's no limit to what you do when it comes to art. You can do anything from what I'm doing now to burning pretzels. It has absolutely nothing to do with this. And look, I've got it all over me. Oh, so did you see? You know what? This dragon can be a heart. Love dragon. Hashtag fear. Oh wait, no, it's not there. Hashtag fear. Their teeth can be yellow. Because dragons don't brush their teeth. And then the tips, obviously, will be red from the blood of their prey. There we go. The head and tail look nothing like It's perfect. Now, as you know, we're using a tray, but we need something in the tray, and we can use gorgeous gems, like a full jar of them. Get ready. It's going to be very loud. Just so you know, these pretty little stones are just for decoration, and so it doesn't fall over, and they look pretty. My mum cut little slop hole like things on the side so that the head can just go loop. She already has. 
and the tail can also just go beep like that now let's start the incense clock boom yeah I like going now the bells mark the time when they hit the plate we need to prepare these other two bells my bells have a little loop so let's put the string through right there tie oh this is fiddly tie a double knot did I do it? I think I did it I'm going to do the next bit because it was really tricky. It has, the bell has to just overhang. In ancient times, their sticks were calibrated so they knew how long it would burn for. Ours are not calibrated, so I'm going to hypothesize and say it will burn for one hour. The first bell, I want to be at the halfway point. So, when the first bell drops, I will know that half my time, say, playing video games, might have passed. When the second bell drops, all of the time is gone. The thread rests on the incense stick, and when it burns, the thread burns, the bell falls down and marks the time. Now, the most exciting part, lighting it. It is 15.06, so when it is 16.06, one hour would have passed. Let's see if we're right. It stopped when it reached the edge, so we're going to start it again, and we're going to have to attach it so it doesn't fall over. Oh, the halfway point just went. It was 15, oh god, there's a lot of smoke. It was 15.39 and the bell went kaplunk. It's at 16.06, it's pretty close. It's just not quite there yet. Hang on, let me check the time again. 16.06, the bell hasn't dropped yet, so we were nearly right. Let's wait. Dun, dun, dun. I'm making random noises because I have no idea what to do. Yes! It worked! It's actually still 1606. It's still 1606. And now it's 1607. But it still counts. We were technically still right. Booyah, dab, dab. Like and subscribe for more videos. And bye! Bye! I was really high-pitched.